Hey everyone, I recently celebrated Labor Day, like most Americans, by going shopping and participating in the Labor Day sales. So I wanted to show you everything that I picked up. Went to Whole Foods. My husband, I like Whole Foods. My husband loves Whole Foods. He loves their skincare section. I don't wanna say beauty section, doesn't get anything there, but the skincare stuff, he's really into all the natural products, which cracks me up because this is a man who uses a foot exfoliator to scrub his face. But anyway, they sell this African black soap that he just loves and he wanted to go get more of it. And I started looking around because I had heard about this line called John Masters Organics and they carry it there. So yes, I still watch Elle Fowler. She was one of the first people that I subscribed to when I first started watching YouTube. Um, I know that I am old enough to be her mother. You do not need to tell me that. I'm fully aware. But I enjoy watching her videos because we have similar coloring and similar skin. We both have dry skin, blonde hair, light colored eyes, light skin. So if a product works for her, it usually works for me, you know, within reason. So anyway, she had talked about this John Masters Organic Sea Mist. It's sea salt spray with lavender in it. Um, I didn't really can't really tell that I used it, but um, I'm into this beachy wave kind of thing, and I did buy a sea salt spray recently, but it left my hair very dry and crunchy, and I didn't love it. And what's supposed to be great about this is that it has lavender oil in it that sort of mitigates the dryness of the sea salt, and it does smell nice. I think it's a little pricey. This is a nine fluid ounce bottle, and I think it was $17. It's a pretty good size. It will probably last me a very long time, um, but you can get this at Whole Foods. The other thing I picked up at Whole Foods was um, my favorite shampoo in the whole world, Giovanni Tushik Brazilian Keratin Argan Oil Shampoo. They carry there. They also, they carry, they don't carry the travel size, they carry a regular size, then they carry like the liter with the pumps. And I was going to go get the big liter size with the pumps, and I saw this in their travel section. It's brand new, it's by the same company. It's Tushik Avocado and Olive Oil. And I got the travel size shampoo and conditioner because I thought, Let's give this a go and see what I think. So I used this last night, so I can't give a full in-depth review, but my hair is so much softer than normal and I think way shinier too. So first use, thumbs up, really like this, um, Whole Foods. Then we went to CVS and I cannot walk out of CVS without actually buying something. Two things I needed to add to my collection were two more of the Scandalize that I don't own, so I think I now own every color they make, just this straight up black. I have the sparkling black, but the black, and then the deep blue, they call it, and it's um, deep blue. There you go. Haven't had the guts to try this deep blue yet, but I'm, I'll am i get up to it at some point. Then, let's talk about nail polish. So, I'm going to put this in my haul because it came right around Labor Day, and I just want to show it in a haul. Uh, Zoya recently had a buy one get one free, I believe it was, or buy two get, I don't remember. It was some amazing deal. I think it was buy one get one free, so I bought two, got two free. And they came, and I got America, because it's just a beautiful red, and I wanted it. And then I got Jules, because um, I thought I'd ordered it a year ago and, and ordered something else by mistake, which is a lovely color, but isn't Jules. I've actually worn this already once, and um, it's a beautiful, neutral, kind of like an old gold, but very pale. I got Janessa, which I haven't tried yet. It's like a frosty white. And then I got, I think it's supposed to be Jamie. Can you see that? Of course, for those of us that live in Texas and speak Spanish, I think Jaime, but I'm pretty certain it's not Jaime. But that's how I read it. And this is like, very similar to, I'm trying to duplicate the CND shellac in Romantique. Um, this has a little bit of shimmer frost to it, but it's very close. With three coats, it's very opaque and pink. So that was from Zoya. But then I did get the CND shellac back in July in the Romantique color. You've seen it in previous videos. I loved it. I loved how long it lasted. At least three weeks. The only reason I took it off was because it was starting to grow out. Never chipped. I love that opaque baby milk pink, whatever you want to call it. Loved it. Loved it. And I saw an ad, and I can't remember where, for CND Vinylux, which is like the shellac. It says it's supposed to last up to seven days and have a shellac-like appearance. Um, and it's made by CND, the people who make the shellac. 
but it's a nail polish and I ordered this on Amazon. I got the color, it comes in Romantique. See, it says Romantique. And then you have to get the weekly top coat. And what's neat is you don't need a light. It just cures in natural light. And the longer you have it on, the harder it's supposed to cure or something like that. So if I got it, um, I got actually got up to my mailbox on Sunday and got it and I don't like it. Um, I'm not gonna return it. I'm just gonna play with it a little bit, but this is not the same as the shellac. It's, it's a very um, sheer, transparent, old lady pink. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. But the top coat can be used with other nail polishes. So I took off this hideous color. My husband just, even he was like, get that off your nails, it's horrible. And I said, well, since you feel so strongly, what would you like? And he said black. So I pulled out the NYX Pixie Dust, so it's not a straight up black, it has some sparkle. And you might notice it's a little shinier than usual. That's because I topped it with this top coat and we'll see how this goes if it lasts any longer than usual. It does last a long time, so this might be on my hands for many a video. So that's it for beauty products. Now for the fun part, the clothing portion of this video. Across the street from the mall is another shopping center that has um, Nordstrom Rack and Saks Off Fifth, which are kind of their outlet versions. I need new jeans, and um, I got three pairs of jeans, and I am obsessed with this company now. I've got um, it's their Joe's jeans. I'm trying to see, so they have the little JJ somewhere. I haven't taken the tags off, but anyway, I got three pairs of Joe's jeans. They are normally they list for $158. They were $100, $99.99 at Saks Off Fifth, and then it was 40% off, so they were 60 bucks. I have to tell you something. I was recently in the Gap, and jeans there are $67. What happened? Like, I haven't been to The Gap in years, but hello, I'm sorry, what? Almost $70 for a pair of jeans from The Gap? Get over yourselves, people. Okay, so for less than what I would have spent at The Gap, I got a pair, I got, well, several pairs. So I got, I mean, they're just basic dark wash jeans. These are, I got 27. These are straight ankle jeans, which basically mean that they come down normal length on me and I don't need to get them hemmed because I have found that designer jeans are made for giants. Um, the thing I like about these, other than the fact that they fit me amazingly well, is that they're already, they feel like they're already broken in. They're super soft and comfy. So I got the classic in an ankle fit, I believe I told you. And this is the, like, really dark wash, and it has the little JJ thingy on it for Joe's jeans. And these are the Cigarette Straight and Narrow, and it's a real dark wash. Almost like a trouser cut. I mean, they're not cut like trousers, but they... Feel like trousers again 27 and um, yeah they fit really nicely these will need to get hemmed these are way long and I I would have bought them in another color but that's all they had in my size and well no wait I got these these are slightly different that's right I was about to get to and my husband was the one who actually found these <laughs> um, these are Brielle cut I don't know what that means and you know, they're just... So I would suggest if you're jean shopping, even if you find a brand that fits you well, still try on the jeans because I tried on, I thought, okay, great, I'm a 27. First I started playing 30s and those didn't, those were too big. In my head, I'm a 29 or 30, apparently I'm a 27. So um, I thought, great, I'll just grab a bunch of 27s. No, try them on because they had another fit called Honey Booty or something with your booty and honey, I don't know. I couldn't barely wedge. I was like a so I was a five pound sausage in a two pound casing. It was not cute. No, could barely button them. Not did not come out of the dressing room in those. So my advice: if you haven't been jean shopping in a while, I've not been jean shopping in a while. Try on every pair. Trust me. Of course, my husband was with me, so of course we bought shoes. They were having a. It was forty percent off everything in the store. It was ridiculous. So I got these shoes from Ivanka Trump, which were. You know, I don't know if it's going to have the price on here. They were on the display. Oh, yeah, they will. So they were originally $135, marked down to $114, and then 40% off of that. So they were $57, I believe, when we were all said and done. And these, it's got the tissue in there. Hang on. Aren't these? 
I just, I love them. I have no like place to wear them, but I'll find a place. I can wear these with jeans going out. I can wear them with a black dress. I can wear them with a dress I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I got these in a size 7. They're beautiful. And they're actually pretty comfy. The leather's really soft and it's quite a heel. Isn't this cool? Look at that. It's metal. It's so cool. Okay. This will go live on Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year, which just Google it. It's just easier. I was going to do a whole video on it, but just, just Google it. I will list below how to spell it in case you don't know how to spell it, but it's the Jewish New Year. It's a high holiday. It's a big deal for the Jews. Very formal. Um, it does not compare to Christmas and Easter, but the big thing is that um, you go to synagogue and you go to services and everybody gets dressed up and people who don't go all year to services will show up for Rosh Hashanah, so it's sort of like a fashion show too. And um, so I I didn't need a new outfit, but my husband suggested that maybe I could go get a new outfit. So we went to Nordstrom, and I'm going to go get what we got. As I was saying, we went to Nordstrom, and the Diane von Furstenberg, I think that's how you say it, yes, uh, the pre-fall collection was 30% off. So um, yes, I am. It's it's an expensive dress. and. It's beautiful and it is so cool on and I will do an outfit of the day when I wear it but it is this dress right here it's sort of a fit and flare skater dress skater cut it's a knit material and it it's like a magic dress when I put it on it makes me look skinny where I'm not skinny it makes me look curvy where I'm not curvy it's this, these geometric patterns on the sides here just suck suck in your waist like it makes it your waist disappear and then it's flirty and fun on the bottom it's short sleeve but it's you know in more darker tones so it's perfect for the fall where I live because it's still 100 degrees today um, so I'm actually not wearing this dress on Rosh Hashanah I am for those of you that remember my dress that I got for my 40th birthday my Rebecca Taylor dress the blue and white dress I'm wearing that, and then this is going to be what's worn for Yom Kippur, which is the next holiday 10 days later. I, um, Google it. It's the Day of Atonement. So in a nutshell, Catholics generally go to confession, I guess, every week. Jews go one day a year, like all day. It's, big, it's, not, a, it's not a fun holiday. We fast. We reflect. We usually wear more somber colors. And um, yeah, so that's gonna get worn for Yom Kippur, but this dress is so versatile. I could wear it with black tights and high heel boots and go out. I could throw a jean jacket over it and make it more casual. I mean, it is just such a great investment and it was an investment, but it was 30% off. And for those who are asking, I got this in a size four. I'm pretty much a size four. So um, sometimes a two, but usually a four. So that's it. And I'm gonna stop now because I'm beginning to babble a lot. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.